Good evening and welcome to Girls' Night Out. I'm Jason Geyser. I've long said that there isn't a more fascinating stat in all of sports at any level than the Bath girls basketball team being undefeated all time against Shawnee. Two schools of similar sizes on opposite ends of the same small city, members of the same league, yet one team has won 61 matchups to the other zero. Meeting number 62 sees Bath playing without two injured starters while Shawnee has their most talented roster in my decade on this desk. Second quarter, Anaya Pearson grabs the rebound and gives to Zoe Best in close. Shawnee takes a 22-18 lead into halftime, but Bath comes alive in the third. Ann Oliver drives and drops it for Claire Faust to finish. We're tied at 22s. Then Ava Craddock slices through the key for the layup and the foul. An 8-0 run has Bath up 26-22. But now CeCe Warsham off the bounce, pulls up and knocks it down. These old foes are tied at 28s after three quarters. In the fourth, Craddock getting to the 10 once again. The Wild Kittens take a 31-28 advantage, but that's when Shawnee's super sophomores spring into action. Grace Freiberger connects from range. The Tribe moves in front by two. Then Warsham finds Bast who drives and drops it home. Shawnee goes up by four, and now they get running. Freiberger to Warsham. The Indians go on a 6-0 spurt in a span of a minute, and that pretty much ices it. The streak is over. Shawnee wins 42-38, make it 1-61 and all time for the all-time record. Crestview is out to a 5-0 start after sharing the, w the NWC title rather and making it to state a year ago. The Knights visit 4-1 Spencerville. Opening quarter, Emmy Prine finds Gabby Croft strong in the paint and the foul. Spencerville takes a five-point lead. Now Claire Hoback hits Lillian Goki cut into the basket. Just like that, the Bearcats jump out to an 11-4 advantage. But back come the Knights. Lacey McCoy kicks to Callie Gregory behind the arc. Crestview's back within four. And now McCoy comes away with the steal and glides the other way for the layup. The Knights stay unbeaten, winning 50-43. to 43. Just like Crestview, the defending NWC co-champs from Jefferson enter tonight at 5-0. They, too, visit a 4-1 team, boarding the pirate ship in Bluffton. First quarter, Liv Lindemann slashes to the basket, plus the foul. The sophomore gives Jefferson a one-point lead. Back comes Bluffton. Riley Bush drives the lane, splits the D, and lays it home. The Pirates seesaw in front by one. Now Sammy Scholes does the same from the other side of the court. Bluffton moves ahead by one again. But here's Lindemann getting defensive. The steal, and she's crazy. Cruising our way for another layup. 22 for Liv tonight. The Jeff Cats retake the lead, but this one wouldn't stay back and forth. Lindemann ahead to Josie McGew and one. Jefferson stays unbeaten. 42 29. In the MAC, both St. John's and Fort Recovery play for their first win of the year, matching up at the Vatican. Opening quarter, Mara Pearson dishes out to Callie Wendell, who puts it up and gets the shooter's bounce. Fort Recovery moves ahead by two. At the other end, Brooke Altenberger drives to the hoop, laying it up and in. That pulls the Blue Jays into a tie. And then Emma Will gives to Abby Kerner, who fires from distance. She hangs three on the home half of the board. DSJ has a one-point lead. But now Whitley Rommel finds Pearson in the paint. Fort Recovery takes this one, 48-39.